This is your first feature for your production company, Dogwood Pictures. As you stepped into the producing chair, how has that now affected the way that you approach your work on screen and vice versa? And how does this film align with the mission of your company? Well, I think it's no, it's no different. Uh, I'm a cinephile, and uh, I always want the best for the films that I work on. And I think part of, you know, being a good producer is creating the best environment to make a film in. And uh, yeah, so if I can be additive in the process in, in, in more ways than, than uh, just through my role that I'm playing, uh, I think that's, that's, that's interesting and fascinating to me. I've, all, I've also you know, been lucky enough to work with some of the greatest producers and filmmakers you know, that, are, that are out there making movies, and uh, I, I've learned a lot from them, right? So I want to take what I've learned and, and, and really kind of utilize it on, on the films that are really near and dear to me like this one is. Great answer. And there's so much prep work that both you, Sean, and John committed to prior to filming. How did that preparation influence the creative choices that you made with this character? And how were you able to strike that balance between doing the work prior, but also being present to the story that you're telling? Oh, yeah, it was essential. You know, this the whole prep was, was essential to us understanding what this movie was about. And a big part of that was the team at Wyckoff Hospital who are our advisors on the film who we were working with for you know years leading up to making the film i would come to new york off and on over the past few years and mm -hmm. do ride-alongs with the wyckoff gang and um and a lot of their stories you know they would tell us stories and a lot of times those stories ended up on screen like the story that uh that sean's character tells about 9 11 that came directly from one of our advisors uh right. so there are a lot of stories there were a lot of instances a lot of scenes that that came out of that prep work and our research that just bled into the movie and then i think it was you know on on us on sean and i you know to convey the authenticity of of their lives and and their jobs and for one from a technical sense right I'm trying to make sure you know look we looked like we knew what we were doing we looked like real medics i think it was very important to us uh so sean and i were working really collaboratively on that, leaning on each other through the process and the preparation, going on all the ride-alongs, the, the training, the more clinical training in a kind of classroom environment, learning how to do CPR and intubate and give people IVs. And we were doing all of this together. You know, yeah. the medic community is, uh, you know, really about uh, union and, uh, and, you know, collaboratively with your partners. So we were doing that all along, which was really great. Yeah, and it comes across in your performance as well. I think one of the beautiful things about this film is the ways in which you're able to highlight contrast, whether that's from the city or these two paramedics who are at different stages in their career. Without giving any spoilers, there's this, those final scenes of the film are so heartbreaking, and you really get to show the breadth of your talent. And one, it's really outward and expressive, and in another, is about restraint and subtlety. As an actor, how do you create the space for yourself to get into those emotional mindsets, and how different is that preparation between those two scenes? I think, you know, it starts with the context of the film, you know, and the context of the character. And I think for, for this film specifically, you know, it explores how what medics face on the job can affect their own personal lives and how it can bleed into their personal lives and their relationships and what they might be dealing with, uh, you know, in terms of their mental state um, by carrying the burden and this responsibility in life, you know, of basically being a medic and going from call to call, trying to keep people, you know, away from death. I think it's a very heavy burden to carry. And I think that's ultimately what the film kind of shines a light on. And so, you know, a lot of it is just comes out, comes out of that. I think, you know, it's, uh, it's also, you know, with a filmmaker like Jean Stefan, somebody you feel totally comfortable with and, and who's really your, your, your guide, uh, mm. you can trust, I think, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs>